Hey guys, Royce here, and I uh, just want to clear one thing up. Sorry that I uh, haven't been posting in a while. I've been kind of busy with other stuff, but I'm back. And uh, today I'm doing a three-part tutorial that's going to be posted throughout the week uh, on how to rig a character model. Uh, I'm going to be showing three different ways. The first two, you can do an 11.5 to 13. I have 13 here, as you can see. And... The uh, last one is exclusive to 13, but check it out if you wish. It's going to be quite interesting. Okay, so first thing you're going to do is want to open, you know, Cinema 40. And once you have that open, I'm just going to go to my render settings and quickly change it. 1920 by 1080. Okay. And, uh, I'll just check my audio. Um, <coughs> sorry. Uh, and then you're going to want to go to your primitive objects. So you want to go to add objects and you want to go to figure okay so as you can tell we're going to be rigging a human a humanoid character for modeling so oops sorry about that okay sorry um yeah make sure you have your figure now what you're going to want to do when you have your figure is do not change the segments okay for this we're not going to change the segments you want to go to figure and you're going to want to move him on the y-axis to 300. So there we have our character. Now what you're going to want to do is highlight the figure over in the objects tab over here and hit C on your keyboard. And this will create a parent with a bunch of children. And as you can see, these are all labeled. And from here, you can go around and animate the character. But we don't want to do that because that's there's easier ways to do it and much better looking ways. And it's really hard to get a good animation this way. So you're just going to close it all up, highlight figure again, right click and go to select children, and then you're going to want to right click it again and go to connect and delete, and this will make one character. Now we cannot move any objects, he is one object. Now what we're going to do is add bo bones and joints. So what you're going to want to do is go up to your character tab in your uh, top, in the top bar. You should see character. And right underneath, you're going to see you're going to see this thing above Manager. It's going to highlight. You're going to want to click on that, and it brings up a pop-up menu. And what you're going to want to do is click on the same thing you saw last time, and then just drag it to part of your screen. So I like to move it right over here. And here we have our tools that we're going to be using, so we don't have to keep going back up here and you know being annoyed at it. So once we have our character like this, you want to go to the Change Views. And you're going to want to find the front view. So as you can see, now we have a front view of our character. And, uh, and he's um, just the wireframe, which is going to make it a lot easier for us. Now what you're going to want to do is we're going to start basically making bones for this guy. So we're not going to do anything complicated like hands or fingers, because you see he has no hands or fingers. But once you learn the basics of it, everything can be applied quite easily. So you're going to want to go to your joint tool right here, and you're going to want to hit sh uh, so control or shift? Control. So you're going to hit control. Now go back to your joint tool and you're going to go to options. Um, remove this options that says root null. Okay? You do not want the root null. Now when you have your... Fi ugh, go away. Um, now that we have the joint tool ready, you're going to hit control and you want to hit right in the middle of his pelvis. Try and get as close as possible. So now, oops, sorry, you do not want to select the figure. You're just going to want to go right into the center of his pelvis, and that is going to be your start and joint. Then, as you can see, the character is already labeled pretty easily to know what it is. When you're rigging harder characters, it might be difficult. But for now, it's going to be quite easy. I don't care about my computer's running slow. Uh, okay, then you want to go to the middle of your torso and keep holding control and click again. As you can see, this made a kind of a connection between these two. That is a joint. Then you're going to want to go right a little bit above the arms and make another one. And then you're going to want to go into the neck and then one to the top of the head. So now we have our basic spine. So we can label these now. And always label as you go. So the first one's going to be called spine. And then the middle one is going to be called torso. Then the top one is going to be called neck. Uh, wait, no, yeah, neck, 
And then this one's going to be called head. And the last one you can just leave because it's, it's not really important at the moment. So we're going to want to start at our uh, spine. And we want to make the legs. Now, there's an easy way and a hard way of doing this. And if you want to get a perfect symmetry, you want to go back to your join tool and click on it. Then you're going to want to go to the symmetry tab and go symmetry, draw. And what this will do is it'll make the same on both sides, no matter where you put it. Oops. Yeah. So click on your spine and you want to go hit when you're still holding control on the spine, you're going to drag it right into the center of his two uh, joints right there. And then if you don't like it, just hit control Z and just keep retrying. The reason we got rid of root null at the beginning is because if you have a root null, it'll create a null object. And if you have a null object and you, and you put a null object in a, a, it just gets very confusing. Let's just put it as that. So now we see we have two joints here. One's the left leg and one's the right leg. So we're just going to move it to the knee. And then we're going to move down to his ankles. And that is the very simple leg movement. And as you can see, it made two legs on both sides, identical. And now we're going to go label these. So it's if you easy if you coordinate yourself to it. So as I can see, this is his right leg. So R leg um, thigh. I don't know how to spell thigh. So R leg top. And then this can be R leg shin. I don't know how to spell shin either. And then you can just leave the bottom one. You can always leave the bottom one. You don't need it just yet. And just do the same for the other side. So L leg top. L leg shin. And this will help you later for um, animation animated. And uh, if you don't like any parts of it and you want to change it, just select whatever parts you want and you can uh, move them closer or smarter. But I like mine the way they are. So next part we're going to do is his arms. And you're going to want to go to, uh, you want to close the legs and you're going to want to go to the neck. And you can name the neck other things if you wish. Um, I just made it the neck to be easier. If you want to actually name this the head, this the neck, and this the shoulders. Okay. Now, we're going to have the symmetry again because we have the same arms on both sides. So you want to click on shoulders and go right again to the center of the joints. And then you're going to want to go right to the center of the joints again and then right to the center of the joints one more time and then we're just going to finish off a hand there so now we're going to label them so this is the left hand so L um, L arm top L arm bot this is going to be the um, wrist can't spell wrist oh, L wrist and this is going to be L hand. And then you're just going to want to close that all up and write the same for the other side. So R arm top, R arm bot, R wrist, and R hand. Okay, so now we have our basic rigged character. And that's basically all it is for the first time. And uh, now if we uh, go back into our perspective view, we can um, go to the move tool. And so I'm going to um, I'm gonna go to his leg and what we're going to do is we're going to rotate his leg. And as you can see, only the joints move. And you might be wondering why. Well, that's because we haven't bind it yet. Oh, one thing. As you can see, the bones are sticking out. So what you can do to fix that is just select the shins here and then just move them in a little bit. And then you just select the um, the bottom, the joint, the bottom joint or the ankle. You can rename that ankle. I think I'm going to do that now. L ankle R ankle. And so once it's fully in the body, then it looks good. And we're just going to do that with the arms as well. Um, 
torso, shoulders, arm, top. Okay, we're going to need to do the arms mid. Um, yeah. So we're going to need to do the the bottom of the arms. And you want to hit control to select only those two. And what this does is, because it's in a hierarchy, it's going to move all those together. And so now it, the bones are completely in the body. Now what you're going to want to do is close it all up. You're going to want to click on the spine. And you're going to want to go to select children. Then you want to go hit control and select your figurine. Now that this is all together, you're going to want to go to character, commands, and you're going to want to go to bind. And what bind does is it binds the spine or the, the joints to the figurine and creates a skin object. And what the skin object does is it allows the character to bend. So now we can go to the rotate tool. We can select our uh, leg, uh, left leg. And when we rotate it, the left leg moves with it. And as you can see, if we render this out, the, the leg moves. And uh, that's how you rig your character, basically. And if we go up to your the neck, we rotate the neck around, the head moves. Move the head, and the head does not move. The last joint will not move anything. But there's a reason why we have that last joint, and I'll show you why now. Now we're going to create something called an IK chain, which makes a physical movement. Because if you were to look at your own leg, you basically the only two things that are really moving is your ankle and your thigh. And your knee moves with those. So, oops, sorry about that. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to um, your right leg. You want to select the ankle and the top. And then what you're going to want to do is go over to Create IK Chain. And what this does is it creates a null object that is actually connected to this, um, is connected to it. Now, you're, what you're going to want to also go and do is with this all object, you're going to want to rename it R Leg Controller. It's a controller. And you're going to want to go to your, um, wherever your access tool is, depending on what version you're using. And you're just going to take off the rotation, so it's a perfect, it's perfectly aligned. Now you don't have to, don't mess around with um, the X, Y, and Z. And so now we uh, will select our, our leg controller, and if we move it up, our leg bends. See, leg bends and stuff, and it makes moving and posing much easier. And so we can just close our right leg because that's done. And now we're going to do the same with the left leg, and we're going to go to create IK chain. And it's going to do the same thing, create the same thing. And we're just going to fix it again. Now, the reason it does this is when you when you make your skin, sorry, I'm going back a little bit, but when you make your skin, what it does is it weighs your character. So if we go, if we click on weight and click weights manager, you can see all these colors. So if we were to click on the this part, you see it glows orange. Everything that's orange is affected by that bone. And the farther you get, the, it goes into a gradient. And the darker it gets, the less it's controlled and less weight is on the pro, is on the thing. And you can adjust that. But we're not going to be doing that just yet. Okay, so that's basically how you do it. That's the uh, first type of uh, rigging a character. It's uh, one of the longer processes, but it uh, it's a good basis and start. And so you know how to do it. Um, another thing, you can't rotate uh, IK chains. You can only move them, but they create really cool uh, stuff. So the next tutorial, I'm going to be showing you a simple, simpler way to do it with a the same model here. I just wanted to show you guys how to do this so you get a feeling for the um, the program, basically, the feeling for rigging. So uh, yeah, uh, I'm Royce, and thanks for watching. See you guys.